and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to How to Cook Great Food. Com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, I've just this second finished. We're making a beautiful chickpea and spinach coconut curry. Loads and loads of banging flavours coming out of this. Really quite simple. Healthy, vegetarian, vegan, good for you. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's take a look at some ingredients in the centre here. We've got our chickpeas. My chickpeas are already cooked. I'm using a can today, and if you're going to use a can, give them a nice wash in some water. If you're going to use dried ones, make sure that you soak them well, take out the stones and stuff like that. Here I've got some onions. Today I'm using a white onion. A little bit of tomato, chopped tomato. Over here I've got some coconut milk or coconut cream. Here I've got some spinach, uh, which is already cooked. You can get this frozen if you want, something like that. Much more convenient than doing the fresh. Fresh is better, I would think. Along the front here we've got some powders, I've got some turmeric, chilli powder, cumin powder and coriander powder, roughly about the same amount, it's like a kind of teaspoon each for the amount we're doing here today. In here I've got maybe two large teaspoons of garlic ginger paste, which is a 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger. And then here I've got some whole garam masala, I've got a few red chilli, cumin seeds, black mustard seeds and cardamom. We're going to start this off with a little bit of oil. We may add a touch of water possibly um, and I'm probably going to put in a little bit of cilantro and some curry leaves. Maybe a few chilies as well. Let's go over to the cooker. Okay so starting off with our pan. I've got some oil in there today. I'm using a sunflower oil. Use any oil you wish. In goes our whole garam masala. We're just going to give them a little roast about. So we've got our green cardamom, cumin seeds, mustard seeds, and that dried red chilli. Just going to work these for you know a few seconds, let them infuse that oil. Now I am going to add a few curry leaves to this, which I didn't show you earlier. If you can get curry leaves, they're absolutely wonderful. If not, don't worry, but give it a go and see if you can get them. And here's my curry leaves, which can be a little bit noisy. These are fresh ones. Not too bad today at all. I think you can get them dried as well, so give it a go. Right, now we're going to go in with our onions. And our garlic ginger paste. And on this fairly high heat, let's just cook this for about two minutes, stirring all the time. There we are, just a couple of minutes there. And at this stage we're ready to add our spinach. I've got some cooked spinach already here, which I'm just going to break up into that. And again, on this kind of high sheet, we're going to do this for another 90 seconds or two minutes. Keep stirring. We've got some wonderful flavours going on now. And it's time now to add our chickpeas or chana. And again, another couple of minutes, just to get some heat through our chickpeas and get some of those lovely spices on them. Stirring all the time, guys. <coughs> At this stage, I'm going to add some salt and our chopped tomatoes.
I'm now gonna go over with our powders. So that was turmeric, chili powder, cumin powder, and coriander powder. Equal parts of very roughly. If you wanted, you could of course just use a curry powder mix of your choice. Just want to get these powders mixed through the vegetables we have. And then we're going to add our coconut milk or coconut cream. I've got some more here. Just like one can of, or the equivalent of a can. We're now going to turn the heat down. I'm going to let this go now on a kind of, just above a simmer, not a complete simmer, just above. We're going to let this go for about four to five minutes now. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, this is pretty much done. Now, if you wanted it a bit thinner than this, because this is kind of, it's not dry, but it's, it's not swimming around in a masala, you could just add some water here or some more coconut. But I love this consistency, consistency like this. You know, I can pick that up with some, you know, roti or bread or something like that. But like I said, if you wanted, you could. Pop a bit more liquid into it. Check that for salt. You might want to add a bit more salt. I'm now going to add in, optional, I've got some lovely fresh green chilli there and some cilantro fresh or coriander. Off goes the heat. Stir that in. And this is ready to go. I really love this one. Really quick and easy, but really, really tasty. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a message, and we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?